We want to be leaders in this. A major announcement tonight on the fate of the Hoke House by the Spring Grove Borough during tonight's meeting. People looking to save the house, getting some, gaining some ground to try and keep the building and its history standing. Thanks for joining us. I'm Evan Forrester. And I'm Amy Lutz. Fox 43's Logan Perone has the latest on the plan announced just hours ago. With permits issued for demolition and in an effort to keep the sun from setting on the Hoke House in Spring Grove, borough leaders taking action. We want to be leaders in this. We don't want to, you know, think about the past. We want to move forward. A preservation plan. Kevin March. Aye. Unanimously passed by the council. Under the plan, the borough would pledge $50,000 to the house's preservation on site or relocation, with a total goal of $300,000, including aid from other organizations. However, we cannot do this alone. $50,000 is nothing. It's a last stand to save the nearly three century old structure following support from the York County community. We're happy that the uh, borough council has. Uh, listen to the citizens and uh, put this item on their agenda tonight. In 1770, it was that important that it was on the map on the Monocacy Trail. The plan has multiple conditions, including that Rudders, who owns the land, be in agreement. You know, it's really up to Rudders. Rudders could just kill this tomorrow. Other conditions also include a timeline of one year, a nonprofit be the entity to collect pledges, accept donations, and apply for grants, and that the actual project be managed by a nonprofit. And I personally think it's a very worthy um, use of our community fund. Borough officials say Rudders has agreed to a meeting in which the borough will make the proposal, though no official date has been set. As of Monday, Rudders had not yet picked up their demolition permit, and there's still no word on what they want to do with the site. In Spring Grove, York County, Logan Perone, Fox 43 News.